Well, we've been out in Daytona Beach for not even five minutes, and I got one. We're just gonna bump them backwards. I don't have a lot of room up here, so I just got the tree saver hooked up to it, but we will get it. Daytona Beach today. Took the Jeep out, first time here, in my Jeep at least. And uh, we, as soon as we got here, we did one recovery. And, uh, it's, I got a charger right here beside me that stuck, but I'm airing down the tires. As soon as I'm done, I'll go yank him out. Got another one. <laughs> Soft sand, this one was kind of a hassle. There's absolutely no tow point. The back axle is so far up forward that I uh, made it a lot more difficult than it should have hooking it up but we will get it we always do all right so put it in reverse and then uh keep that tire straight okay. make sure it's in reverse and then when i hog stop don't don't run over my rope don't keep going backwards okay. Well, that was easy. I think they're all gonna be easy out here unless we get a big diesel truck that's buried. No problem. Ooh, got another one, that's two. I'm already hot, sweaty. It's, it's pretty freaking hot out here, 94. Florida, 94 is like 110, 115 in California. It is stupid hot. But the breeze from the ocean feels good. It's kind of whited out, exposures. It's pretty bright outside, but uh, two and 15, 20 minutes. So uh, I think this place is gonna be a gold mine for recoveries, but uh, I like it. Just most people, they don't, they don't know. I imagine it's gonna be mostly cars out here pulling, pulling in the soft sand. You ready yet? Oh, no. <laughs> <You> still good? <laughs> I was talking to that guy earlier. I said, call me when you're ready to leave. I'll get you out. That charger's still buried. But yeah, we'll keep getting it, putting it in work. Man, if you've never been here before, you gotta check it out. There's just miles you can drive on the beach. People everywhere. Pretty cool spot. I've been here once before, but this is my first time driving on the beach. But uh, I will be out here regularly. I'll be all over Florida, but especially here in Daytona. This is gonna be the mecca for stuck vehicles. Got some soft sand here, everybody's been getting stuck. Let's take a Jeep through it. Oh yeah, she, she ain't nothing for the Jeep. Four low, shit, I'm in two wheel drive. I'm not even in four low right now. Two wheel drive aired down, that's the only thing you need. Just air the tires down, you're good to go. All right, we got a good one this time. <laughs> two wheel drive, they sunk it. We will get it. No, no receiver shackle, so we're gonna go right to the axle. All right, just pulled that uh, Chevy out. And now we get this Tahoe. They saw that and they were like, hey, we're stuck too. So we're about to get this one and that one. Got a two for two for one. I got to do it quick. It's hot. My phone is overheating out here. Okay. 
roll the window down for me so you can hear it. Putting in work, putting in work. Got three back to back right there. I don't know if I, I might have lost the, the footage. My phone overheated there for a second, but definitely never ending recoveries out here. This is the new Folsom Lake. I love the sand, I love the beach. It doesn't get any better than this. Doing recoveries on the beach. Like, life is good, you know? I made it. But cruising up and down. I'm gonna take a break here in a little bit. And let the let the Jeep cool off. As she's been running for a few hours, but uh, try to get one or two more real quick. I just had a guy stop me and give me a duck. This is my first duck. If you didn't notice. I took the no duck sticker off my Jeep. You know what? I, I joined the dark side. If it if it makes people happy, then you know I'm a, I'm about it. I kind of fought it at first, you know, and I thought it was just pretty comical to have the no duck sticker. But uh, I took it off, and then boom! Two days later, I get a duck. That was my first duck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know what? I think I might make a video one day where I go out and duck like a hundred Jeeps. Maybe me and my daughter. I think she would get a kick out of that. Well, this is gonna get interesting. I'm towing a car. Well, we got one. Kind of hard to see him, but he's back there. Toe points would be freaking nice. Oh yeah, look how rutted up this is. This is super soft. I'll get it. I'll pull it if you want me to. Perfect. I film everything for YouTube. <laughs> he did it. Oh yeah. You'll be like the tenth one for today already, so no biggie. But uh, I'll get it hooked up. We'll get you out. Yeah. <laughs> this is super. Yeah, you gotta turn that traction control off, keep the speed up, and uh, let the wheels walk. Yeah, but I'll, I'll turn around, I'll get it real quick. <sighs> this is pretty. Oh, I got a, a receiver shackle I'm gonna throw in there real quick. Right, here we go. If you wanna pop that in there, we'll get this guy hooked up. Oh man, all oh, that sand in there. This is gonna suck cleaning that up. Sand everywhere. Yes sir, jamming out, jamming out. I love this place. I've already recovered quite a few vehicles and uh, at least two or three that I didn't even film. They were kind of rushed, blocking, blocking the road. So um, I've, got, I've got a couple more than even what I got on video. I'm probably gonna be out here every weekend now. No more Folsom Lake, guys. It's it's Daytona Beach. I will take it. This place is way nicer than Folsom Lake. Look at that water. Look how clear it is. Woo. Love it, love it, love it. Got one. About to get him. See if they can push it. If not, 
Yeah. I will pull it. Well, they got it out. A couple, a couple big dudes pushed it. Sometimes that's all it takes. I got another duck. A lady came running right up to me. She's like, hey, pss, 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 let me give you a duck. <laughs> I ended up reducking the other one. I saw a blue Jeep and it matched it perfect. And uh, how about that, you know? Went from getting ducked to ducking somebody all in one day, first time. But still cruising around out here. Got a few more recoveries. I'm sure when people go to leave this afternoon, this evening, it's, it's gonna be wild. I'll probably hang out. I think you gotta be off the beach by seven o'clock. So I imagine about 6.30, you're gonna have 30 people stuck out here, but fun times. fun day I'm calling it I don't even know how many recoveries I did I racked up a few but uh, yeah good times Daytona is awesome I'll say it a million times um, I'm probably gonna start patrolling every weekend or at least every couple weekends get as much videos or many videos as I can out here if you made it this far thanks for watching if you guys want any of the gear that I'm using go to rhinousainc.com enter the discount code 4x4 rescue you get 10% off until next time, appreciate it.